this video is about uh, one of the others, uh, one of the other enumerators in for each loop container uh, as series of SSIS 2012 integration services tutorial video. And this video is about ADO enumerator. ADO enumerator is for looping through um, a list of, uh, actually a data table, that data table loaded uh, within an execute SQL task or from uh, data flow task. Uh, that data table will be loaded into an object type variable and then uh, we can loop through that object type variable. And um, when we load that data table uh, through execute SQL task, we can set this as full result set. You can uh, find out more about how to do this in execute SQL task tutorial video. And when we load it in data flow task, we can use record set destination. Record set destination is to load data as, uh, uh, as it is in every um, uh, part of data flow into an object type variable. I will show you a sample of this record set destination in this example. ADO enumerator is one of the most useful types of enumerators in uh, uh, for each loop enumerators. This can be used in many kind of situations. Uh, advantage of ADO enumerator is that that data table can be loaded from any kind of uh, data sources as we can load this into the into the data flow so we can get the source data from excel oracle db2 flat file any kind of sources that you can work with ssis and the data can be transformed through any kind of transformation like pivot like uh, using derived column uh, uh, data conversion uh, data type conversion any kind of um, transformation can be used, DQS cleansing, any kind of uh, this transformation, and then this will be loaded into record set destination. The loop structure also will be dynamic because, <coughs> because of the nature of um, ADO enumerator, which uh, works with a data source, and that data source actually uh, can be kind of a database uh, flat file, and that flat file can be changed by the user, and when that changes, then the loop structure will change and the loop iterations will change as actually. Uh, for a sample of this uh, video, I use uh, this scenario. We have uh, mm, a scenario of uh, creating a very simple package execution framework with ADO enumerator. In this package execution framework, we will have two tables. One table is for configuration for package execution, which actually contains uh, names of each a name of each package and uh, execution order of the package and uh, a flag for uh, enable and disable. Loop structure will loop through uh, the package based on the execution order for just those packages that are enabled and then uh, will execute those packages one by one and after that a log task which actually is an execute SQL task will uh, write a log entry into another table which is a log table. Okay for the sample I use this project, this project is a um, SSIS project that contains some packages. Let me just remove this package. Okay, we have sample packages here. Each package do a specific task. For example, item package do a um, uh, based on the loop or SM, SMO um, package do a data transfer based on a loop. Uh, each of these packages uh, do a specific task. Then uh, now we, uh, we want to create a new package. I named this as uh, master. In this package we want to uh, execute all other packages and then lo write a log entry. Before doing that, I show you two tables here. One table is package execution config. The package execution config contains uh, three main columns, which is package name, 
as you can see an execution an order and enable here you can see that uh, each package listed here with the execution order and enable disable uh, so for example this shows that uh, package will be executed in this order and if we just follow this only smo and item will be executed then we have another package another uh, package which is uh, execution log package. The execution log package will show how package executed. Right now this is empty. This just show package name and execution date time. Now I want to create a data flow task. First I want to use, to the, uh, I want to use a data flow task to load this data table into an object type variable. So first I create an object type variable named packages of type object. Then I put a data flow task here. I rename it load list of packages or let's say fetch list of packages. Then in the data flow task I use an OLEDB source. That OLEDB source connects to our sample database and here we use a SQL command I create that SQL command here select we want just package name so I say select package from table name and we want to get just those that are enabled so I say just those that enable are one order them by execution order so as you can see this is how uh, data table will be returned. I don't need other uh, columns here but if I want to fetch other columns I just need to select other columns uh, as regular select way. Okay I choose this and I put that here preview okay this is the source and for the destination I use record set destination. Record set destination is when I want to uh, load data into uh, data stream into an object type variable. In the record set destination what I need to do is to set the variable name. Here I choose packages. The variable should be object variable and then I choose input columns. For this case we just have one input column which is package. Okay, so this is the data flow that we use for fetching list of packages into the packages variable. Then I create another variable named package name of type string. I want to use this into my for each loop container. So I put a for each loop container here. I execute after the data flow task. And I rename it to loop through packages in the just loop through packages. Okay. Into this for each loop container, I choose enumerator as a for each ADO enumerator. When I choose ADO enumerator, you can see that in enumerator configuration, I can choose object source variable which in this case our object source variable is packages variable then I can set the enumeration mode. Enumeration mode works uh, with the 
uh, data set uh, or actually uh, data set that loaded into the object variable um, because in the object variable we can uh, load a kind of uh, data set, ADO.NET data set object. So we can choose that, uh, do we want to uh, look through all tables because we can have more than one table in ADO.NET uh, set data set. So uh, in uh, these two cases works when we uh, uh, work with uh, script task. So for this case, I just use rows in the first table because we just have one table. Okay, in the variable mapping, I can load each uh, column's data into a variable because we just have one column so I use index 0 if we had more than one columns the order of this uh, variable mapping is exactly as the order of uh, uh, columns in the select statement okay so this is the loop uh, configuration now I want to put an execute package task execute package task is for executing other packages here I just rename it as execute child package for example and I leave the reference type as project reference project reference means that the uh, package is in the logical um, uh, the logical location of this project this means that I do not need to set the exact location of that the previous method was external reference which requires the exact location full address of the package so for this one I what I need is just to choose the package name for example I set this as item.dtsx for now just just for setting this up and then in the expression here is where actually I should set the dynamism of this task. I choose package name and I want to set that package name with expression. I use package name variable here uh, then I should add that dtsx here as well because it needs the extension as well. For now the package name is empty but this will be resolved in runtime. Okay, so this is the configuration. This is uh, showing the red icon right now because it cannot resolve the correct package name. So I set delay validation to true. Now I want to add the other task for log. So I use an execute SQL task. I put the execute SQL task here. I name it as log. And I use this after successful execution of child package. In the log, I just want to set a connection to same database. And then I want to write an insert statement. Insert into the table name, which is package execution log. Package execution log and we want to load package name and execution date time package name execution date time values package name comes from an input variable uh, we are using OLEDB configuration so question mark is using used for uh, variables and execution date time I use get date function for that okay now the input parameter I set input parameter here I use package name variable of the varchar data type of the varchar data type here and the par parameter name I set this to zero because the OLEDB uh, signature for parameter names are zero based so this is how I configure the log now 
I can execute this master package and this will execute to other packages which is SMO and items one by one. Okay, we can see that the first package executed, then the second package executed, and this shows that all packages executed. Here we can see that status, infor status information of uh, what happened in the master package, and finally we can also see how the execution log looks. Okay, it shows that SMO and items uh, runs one by one first SMO and then item as you can see and this is because in the package configuration we had just SMO and item enabled and in the execution order as well so this is a very simple sample of an execution framework when you have more than one SSI package and you want to have a master package to run those size packages you can use a ADO enumerator simply and with two table with a config table execution config table and execution log table then you can play with this config table with execution order or enable disable flag of it so this was uh, one of the very useful samples of using ADO enumerator. In summary, ADO enumerator is one of the main options when loop structure fits from a database. You can see that how it can be useful and the loop structure, actually the loop iteration will be dynamic because uh, uh, the data uh, uh, the data rows can be changed uh, from the database or from flat file, from Excel file and order of columns to be fetched is the exactly as the order of columns that filled in the object variable. Thanks.